Hi kids, this is Mr. Scro from Hillside School. This week we'll be visiting the great country of Morocco. The musicians in this photo are wearing traditional Moroccan clothing holding folk instruments and standing in front of decorative tiles commonly found in North Africa and the Middle East. In this week's lesson, you're going to learn some facts about Morocco's culture and explore a folk song from Morocco called Ran Sam Sam. Although Morocco is located in Northern Africa, it shares some cultural history with a region of the world called the Middle East, owing to their shared language of Arabic and common religion of Islam. Moroccan culture is a blend of Berber, Arab, Sephardic Jews, West African, and European influences. It is separated from Spain by the narrow Strait of Gibraltar. So as we start our lesson, let's begin with some music. Ran Sam Sam, sometimes known as Rum Sum Sum, is a nonsense word song from Morocco. Although the word Rafiq means friend in Moroccan Arabic. The song is often performed with accompanying hand motions. We'll teach you some common moves to this song right now. And we will visit the song at the end of the lesson where you can come up with some of your own. Hi kids, this is Mr. Scro, and I'm going to teach you the moves to a Ram Sam Sam. So on Ram Sam Sam, we pat. And on Gooly Gooly Gooly, Gooly Gooly Gooly. And move our hands like this, good. And a Rafi, we're gonna put our hands up. All right, so we're gonna repeat the first part of this. So here we go. A Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam, Gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam, Gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, a Rafi, a Rafi, Gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, a Rafi, a Rafi, Gooly. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Great job. Hi, kids. This is Mr. Here are some fun facts about Morocco. Its official name is actually Kingdom of Morocco. And a fun fact is that they have a actual king. It's called a constitutional monarchy and the king makes all of the decisions. A, a very uh, local significant historical fun fact is that if any of you have taken a hike in a Somerset County park called Natterar, then you, have been in an on land that had been bought at one point by the king of Morocco, and it was uh, it was given to the uh, the the king's sons whenever he died uh, a number of years ago. And the sons, instead of keeping the land, they actually gave the land to the Somerset County Park System. And so you could go to Natterar and uh, take a hike. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. And uh, another really interesting quirk is that the name Natterar backwards is Raritan. We can tell a lot about Moroccan city life from this photo. Notice that it looks like a warm weather climate from the presence of palm trees. The open air marketplace, sometimes called a bazaar, is a central gathering place. The people there traditionally wear long garments called caftans that protect them from the hot sun, but also aren't tightly fitting to be sticky and uncomfortable to wear. 
The tall tower in the back of the picture may be a part of a mosque, which is the house of prayer for Muslims. And the call to prayer sounds from the top of the tower five times a day. We can also tell that this city or town maybe isn't quite as metropolitan as cities like New York, Tokyo, or London because of the stalls that look like they are made of less sturdy materials than brick or stone buildings. Nomadic peoples live in a very different way than most of us in the United States. Have you ever moved from one house to another? Generally in our culture, that's a pretty big deal. Whereas in nomadic cultures, it's more of a common occurrence. Nomadic tribes generally pick up and leave depending on the weather, farming cycles, or the need for work. My friends Anne and Rashid invited me to their home in Washington, D.C. once to enjoy a traditional Moroccan dinner. When I showed up at their home, they were both dressed in the most beautiful Moroccan clothes. At one point during our casual conversation, I noticed that they did not have a table in their dining room. When they told me that it was time to eat, Rashid spread a cloth out on the floor of the dining room and placed a big plate in the center of the floor. Anne brought the food from the kitchen and started to dish the couscous and stewed chicken and vegetables onto the big plate. They graciously told me how in Moroccan culture, families sit on the floor around one plate and eat with their hands. It felt pretty weird at first to eat with my hands from the same plate as everyone else, but I soon got used to it. And I had good conversation and the food was absolutely delicious. To this day, that meal was one of the most interesting and inspiring experiences I have ever had. Whenever we listen to music from around the world, we ask ourselves, why does this music sound the way it does? What makes it sound characteristic of the place it comes from? In this case, one of the most striking things about the music is the combination of electronic instruments and acoustic folk instruments. The juxtaposition of synthesizers and traditional drums is striking. Fatima's singing also has a unique, almost metallic timbre. I'm not sure how much of that is due to her microphone settings and how much of it is the sound of her natural voice, but it definitely sounds different from the music that we listen to every day. And we are here with the always illustrious Ms. Ritundi to help me out with this song. You're going to see on your screen now the words and the music for A Ram Sam Sam. Here we go, Miss Ritundi. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam. A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam. A rafi, a rafi, gooly 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 ram sam sam. Oh, Rafi, oh, Rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. 
In this version of Ram Sam Sam, you may have heard that we repeated and observed first and second endings. Your main task for this assignment is to create three moves of your very own. One for a Ram Sam Sam, one for Guli Guli, and one for a Rafik. There are three choices to complete this week's assignment, which I will describe on the next slide. There are three choices to complete this week's assignment. Choice number one, after you make up your own moves for Ram Sam Sam, make a video and share it with your teacher on their Flipgrid. This option is worth 10 points plus five bonus points for sharing a video. Choice number two, if you do not want to make up moves to the song, you can make a video of yourself playing Ram Sam Sam on your instrument. In this option, you do not have to share movements. This option is also worth 10 points plus five bonus points for sharing a video. Choice number three, if you do not feel up to making a video and or don't play an instrument, you can simply describe the moves that you created for Ram Sam Sam in a private comment. This option is worth 10 points, but you will not be eligible for the bonus points. The last two slides of this presentation outline more specifically how to complete the assignment. Don't forget that each of these options require you, you to write a private comment and mark as done so that your teacher knows that you're finished and where to find your work. Good luck. So if you choose to create your own moves for Ram Sam Sam, and you want to do the assignment option number one, you need to create your own three moves for the song. You can either sing the song yourself or you can use the recording of it on slide number four. Post your video on the Flipgrid. Say, I shared my moves on Flipgrid in a private comment in the Google Classroom and mark as done. If you choose to do option number two, you're going to share a Flipgrid video of yourself playing Ram Sam Sam on your instrument. You can use the music on slide 13. Note, it is written in treble clef. Post your video on the Flipgrid and say, I played my instrument on Flipgrid in a private comment and click mark as done. If you do not feel up to making a video, then option number three is here for you. Describe the moves you created in a private comment on the assignment page in the Google Classroom and mark as done. You must do option one, two, or three to receive credit for this week's work. Don't forget to click mark as done to send a message to your teacher. I will be here for the rest of the period to help you and you have the time to work on the assignment options. Good luck.